Hello everybody, it's Kelly O'Black with this week's Sketch It Out Thursday layout. This is our inspiration piece for the week and I mainly took the colored pink with a little bit of gray and the idea of the heart. That's my sketch right there and it's from the L Studio Blog or Ellie Studio Blog. I'm going to be using quite a few pieces from Maggie Holmes Open Book. And I recently was at Tuesday morning and was able to purchase that the paper pad 12 by 12 paper pad for a really nice price I didn't get the um, the collection when it first came out so I thought it was kind of fun to be able to do that and I was a little low on like my crate paper Maggie Holmes kind of stash I've used a lot of it so it was kind of a neat opportunity to be able to do that what I'm doing there is I am going to echo the two vertical strips in the sketch and I have my photos placed basically the way they are I do just I am using though um, two four by four photos and I think I and I don't think that and I and I um, actually turned the sketch as well if you'll if you uh, go back and look at the original sketch so I cut that piece of paper from open book that ombre wood and this should have been really easy, <laughs> but it isn't. <laughs> um, the first thing I discovered is for some reason one of the pieces was a lot shorter than the other. I don't quite know what I did there, but um, it was. And then I realized that I cut it another piece crooked. So what should have been a really simple thing to just cut two vertical strips was not at all. That floral piece is also from the Maggie Holmes open book um, 12 by 12 paper pad and that has the pink flowers on it and like some greeny gray leaves and then there's some gray sketched flowers in the background so that's where I really looked at the inspiration piece and um, that and this ombre wood paper I, I when I went to pull it because I knew I probably wanted to use a more shabby chic or you know something like that crepe paper line so I immediately thought of crepe paper because of the tea photos because this is a historic home and um, you know it was built in the 1800s so that paper you know crepe paper would just fit it really really well so I got my ATG to work and I finally finally was able to glue down those strips of paper on the side and as I said I did um, I did turn this sketch. So what I'm looking at now is I decided I didn't really like the papers just sitting on the the floral paper so I'm trying a few things out there. I didn't like the the wood or the khaki color. The pinks were not right and then I found this piece from uh, Crepe Paper Notes and Things. The paper is called With, With Love and um, I really like the way that looks. You really can't see the dots. You might get a little bit of a shadow in there, but that's not what I was going for. I mostly really liked the green there. So that's what I really, really wanted to do. You know, what I really wanted to highlight. And it's soft enough that it's a very subtle color change when you look at the layout. And that is really what I wanted to do. I didn't want it to be, um, really noticeable and that was one of the problems I was having with some of the pink papers is they were a little bit too noticeable so now I'm kind of looking there is something in the sketch on the right side there so I'm thinking that's what I, don't, what I want to do and I'm going through some of my cut apart sheets here just thinking that I might you know use um, use that and I don't know exactly where that one was from a lot of these are just sheets that I I have um, kind of sitting around in my in my little envelope of crepe paper things that cut apart there I believe is from style board um, and I got that at Hobby Lobby at least I think it's from style board it also might be flea market I'm not sure anyway Hobby Lobby has those um, sheets of paper and that's where I got that um, those sheets and I, I keep them because they're great for you for little embellishments really 
and now I'm I've, I'm going to cut this piece out and I'm going to play with it for a while I'm thinking about using it but I'm not going to end up using that one okay and again just going through and looking at what's out there this little cut apart that says photographer's notes is from Maggie Holmes open book that's a cut apart from there and at first I put it on the top there that is going to move however I'm thinking about where I might go and I like the um, that little annual pass thing there but I really like it when I put the green behind it and the it just pops it off the page even more the other thing I really like is that the green is now touching the photos it's touching the main floral paper and it's also touching the ombre wood paper so it's touching the main elements plus it's touching that little annual pass piece of um, ephemera so it's it's touching multiple layers which helps bring your layout together now I just went and I grabbed another sheet of paper there and I cut a camera out from that that's another one of those that, that I got from Heil, uh, Hobby Lobby but it's a Maggie Holmes piece of paper from Styleboard I believe when Hobby Lobby does that they don't they don't put any names on anything there's no branding strip on them at all so you have to kind of know what the paper is now what I'm doing here is I just got the Chamel Go Now Go collection in and I had these wood buttons and when I looked at the inspiration piece I thought of this heart button on there and I thought oh that would be cute with the whole just sort of crepe paper look behind it so it's one thing that I really wanted to get on this layout because I thought about it um, quite a bit you know thought about it. it made me think of it right away so that is going to end up on the layout now I'm going through and I'm looking at these Maggie Holmes word stickers the gold word stickers and I like them quite a bit but they were almost too big for this layout like they drew too much attention I think I wonder if it's because of the scale of the photos maybe along with the scale of the with the word sticker that's the only thing that I can think of because normally I love using those but it just seemed to be a little bit too big for me and who knows <laughs> I'm looking at um, some more ephemera here and I find that little scalloped journaling spot um, it's a die cut and I'm not exactly sure where that what collection that's from um, it's crepe paper I know that for sure but it was in I have a package of things that are just sort of a mix it might be from the pier it might be from something else it's just a mix of odds and ends that I have left from packages where I don't have many left of anything but I decided to put that up behind the camera in the top although I'm going to struggle with this a little bit because it's missing something to my eye I just can't tell what that is yet and it's going to take me a while before I can figure that out so that's you know I think that's a good thing for you to see a struggle I didn't mind this with that little journaling spot there over the top of it but the one of the big things that I didn't like is when I did that I dropped the camera down so far that I covered the beautiful light in the photograph and since that's part of the whole atmosphere of this photo I didn't want to cover that and I'm continuing to go through my ephemera packs from both Maggie Holmes and um, crepe paper to see what else I can find you do this really fast when you're on camera not so fast when you're not on camera so now I was looking for some pieces I think this is craft market um, kind of looking at some pieces to try to see if there's other things that I could use I really liked the stamp idea and I knew that I had a second one so I was kind of looking for that and to see if there was anything else that I could find to work there um, the one thing I didn't tell you is I have that little 
piece there on the left that's kind of a red orangey pink color that says daughter and that die cut is from crepe paper close knit it's from the ephemera pack from close knit so I'm going to play around here trying to get this stamp to work for me and I'm going to play around with it but it's not going to work in the end Part of it was, I think that it was too much horizontal on the left side there, and it was too much horizontal right across from the top of the cluster on the right. If you can see that, it's almost like there's a line going straight across the page, and I didn't really care for that for my eye. I'm thinking in my head that I want a vertical element in that left cluster, but I'm not quite sure what it is. And while I'm looking for that, I'm also going to see if I can find um, something else to maybe work for that upper cluster. And I find this flower. That die cut flower is from the Oh Darling ephemera pack. And I really like that. And I'm thinking about that bow, but again, that bow is too horizontal. Now I do find this label, and that label is kind of a peachy pink. That again is from the Oh Darling um, ephemera pack. And that, I'm thinking I'm going to use that, and then I'm going to go away from it, and then I'm going to use it again. And my ATG, um, my ATG uh, runs out of, of uh, tape, so I need to get that all fixed. You can do this pretty fast once you get used to it, as even when it's not sped up. <laughs> so now I have the clusters basically the way they are. I'm going to take my, I believe it's vintage photo, um, ink and I'm going to ink up the green paper that I have the photos matted on and then I'm going to ink all of the die cuts at well as well I really needed them to stand out a little bit off of the background paper because it really was that the photograph cluster and all the the um, clusters themselves were really blending in a little bit too much for my personal liking so I went through and I will ink everything now. And I'm starting to get my clusters down. Now, I just did this two days ago, <laughs> but I cannot remember for sure. But one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that scalped card from the top in about half. And if I remember correctly, I took the, I didn't show this on camera. I actually took the bottom half of that and I put it at the bottom of that cluster on the right underneath part of the title. And it'll end up joining the title and the cluster itself together. So because I, I'm, I'm positive, almost positive that you didn't see that. So when you go, when I go to the still shots at the end of the video, take a look at that when you see the bottom right cluster and you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm getting my little remember arrow down there. And then I'm getting that little daughter die cut there as well. And I'm going to grab my foam tape so that I can get that daughter up on something. Um, I wanted to do that because the heart button in the other cluster is three-dimensional. It just gives a little more dimension to my layout. And I'm kind of playing with where I want this place. It's very horizontal, um, and I didn't totally love it, but, you know, I'm dealing with it. And I'm, as I'm looking at this, now I can't decide do I want to put that peachy color label in there or not. I end up doing that. So now that's where I cut that uh, die cut in, or I cut the die cut, and then I'm going to put the camera and the flower in that cluster up there. And just fiddling with it here because I think I don't want the flower to go up over the top, and I don't want to cover that light if you remember me telling you about that light. So that's why I was playing with that a little bit. 
foam tape behind the camera for the same reason I want a little bit of dimension I love that foam tape you can buy the giant rolls on Amazon I've had it for I think two years and I use a lot of foam tape on layouts so but with a with a roll that big I never worry about actually you know using it or not now I'm back at that those stamps again because I really like them I'm trying to use them trying to use them trying to use them I've tried I've tried these on quite a few layouts and I just haven't made them work yet I think part of it is they're so little and small so they'll work eventually now I just grabbed my brand new enamel dots from the Chamel Go Now Go collection and uh, I'm going to end up using some of those on the layout because I think I want a little touch of gold and I'm going to know that for sure once I choose this title um, I have had these thickers for a while they're from ooh, an early Chamel collection I don't know if it was her first or her second but I have a hard time using round thickers and um, I just thought it's such a kind of muted brassy gold I thought it would look great on this layout so what I'm doing is I'm just kind of testing it to see if I can spell out I'm, I'm thinking about spelling out the word mansion so that I can write Schuster mansion up on the top there or and then I decide Schuster would be too big there so maybe I should write the word the and it's just not working for me or I'm thinking about doing Schuster right here and I just don't like it because it's such a big um, it's such a big block of gold and there's not going to be a lot of gold anywhere else on this layout so I'm I'm really thinking about what I'm going to do for this title now these stickers are not very sticky so I will tell you that one of the things that I did is um, I eventually put them down with glue dots but they did not stick to this layout as at all so here's where I'm thinking about um, doing the mansion but again I just don't like the way that looks up there I just really want one line and as I'm thinking about that all of a sudden I realize wait there's like a perfect spot down here on the bottom to put mansion along the bottom and then that will join the um, the top and the bottom really really well you'll see here I'm going to put the hearts on here and then I will also do some journaling on those cards but not on the video I'm gonna need to think about what I want to say there a little bit and like I said I did I did put glue dots behind each of those title circles but you'll see that there all right hope you are all well come back and see us tomorrow on the crafty maven getaway take care bye